What's up, Video 4 Nation? I'm Magic Bard, and for today, we're going to go through a sunglasses transition effect that I saw on the Andreas Hem video for, um, it was one of his application videos that I think one of you guys sent to me a while back, and I just got to it. Um, so we're going to have fun with this one. It is a cool little transition effect you can add to your vlogs, music videos. Before we get started, I want to give a couple of shout outs to Mehmet and Ali Raza. Um, yeah, Ali Raza Studios. Appreciate the love, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Got the new best editor ever video for shirt. Um, you guys can check those out at video4.com. With that being said, if you're new to Video 4, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. Now, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so let's check this one out. There's obviously a bunch of stuff going on here. I'll show you how to do the zoom in part um, and then you, know, you can apply that to this ending zoom out part in LA. So, you know, once again, um, if you guys haven't seen my other tutorials on Video Fort about uh, transitions and different types of uh, cool vlogging transitions and that kind of stuff, definitely check those out. That will help you help you with this one as well. Um, you know, and kind of staying with the flow will, of course, um, help your knowledge in After Effects gain epic potential. But let's uh, let's jump into it and see what we can do. So I have this clip, okay, that I shot on my Sony A7S II. Um, so that is a 4K clip. I'm just going to drag that into a new composition. So I have that right here, but I do not want to edit this in a 4K composition. So what I'm going to do is basically just take this. Um, sequence and create a new comp by dragging it into a new comp again okay so that's a way that you can um, take a clip and then pre-compose it instead of going to layer pre-compose you know it's the same exact thing that we just did now the whole reason why I did that was because I want to put the warp stabilizer on it okay now that will stabilize my footage because um, it is handheld and it was a bit shaky so let me just fast forward through this whole analyzing process okay there we go guys now we're all stabilized looking good now we can go to our sequence that we pre-composed it and we've got a nice little stabilized shot in here so now what we can do since this is a 4k clip I'm going to go to composition composition settings and bring it down to a 1920 by 1080 sequence Okay guys, now this is HD. So you can see it looks like I zoomed in here, which I didn't because this is just at 100%. So I'm gonna drop it down to 50. Um, and remember, this is because it's a 4K clip. So if you guys are not working with a 4K clip, you do not have to do that step that I just did. So we have uh, two seconds of footage right here. So I probably actually want to extend that. So I'm gonna go to composition settings and then make this maybe um, five seconds long, okay? And then hit enter or okay. And then what I'm gonna do is take some stock footage that I got from videofort.com and um, apply it. So I'll just drag this Hollywood sign into here and you know, really nice shot, helicopter shot of the Hollywood sign. And I will use this to zoom into her glasses right here. Okay, just like the Andreas Hem effect. Okay, so let's do this. Let's time out about how long we want this to be. Now, on the one that I did, uh, mine was about pretty long. So about 20 frames long, okay? And basically what we're doing here, as you can see, when I do this in slow-mo, I'm turning it to pink, I'm also brightening it up a bit, I'm adding a bulge effect, and then zooming in. So let's create that um, 20 frame sequence. So starting from the end, just drop it down 20 frames. So hit that page up button on your keyboard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 9, 20. And uh, 
that's where we're going to do the effect. That's where it's going to start. So I'm going to hit that P for position, keyframe that. Hit that S for scale, keyframe that as well. And now we've basically set our marking point. Go to the very beginning, or I guess the very end of that clip, and now select your um, clip that you shot of the girl in the glasses or guy in the glasses, whatever you end up doing. And we're gonna do the same thing. So keyframe that scale and hit that P for position, keyframe that position as well. I'm gonna hit U so I can see both of those as well. Now what I can do is take this and just, I'll shut off the audio for both of them and shut off the visibility for it so it's not in the way as I zoom out over here. So I'm going to, with my um, face clip selected. I'll just name this for now face clip and then uh, the Hollywood Hollywood all right, and um, Let's uh, let's do that zoom in so let's zoom in until it fills the frame and Then move the position so that the glasses fill the frame as well. And I'm gonna use this one Okay, so Right about right there pretty much fills it all right let's see yeah okay so then we're gonna have this zoom out and because we're zooming in so much you know 500 percent it's going to have that exponential um, zoom out to it so we don't even have to do the easy ease uh, keyframing and that kind of stuff I mean we can but I'm going to skip that for now I mean you guys are probably used to that on all my other tutorials so um, Try it if you want to. On this one, I'm going to leave it how it is. Okay, and now what we're going to do is basically all you have to do is now keyframe your Hollywood into uh, the glasses, right? So, um, so we're going to start from here. I'm going to turn that visibility back on. I'm going to hold down the shift and then hit T for opacity so I can see the opacity. And um, drop it down to maybe 50% so I can see what's happening behind here and let's create a nice zoom out. So I'm going to frame up my playhead so that I can see the whole frame of the glasses. And then what I'm going to do is uh, create a mask around that part. So just the glasses part, okay? Um, so with my Hollywood selected, let's create that mask and you know it could be kind of rough because what we're going to do is feather the edges and and really work with it so you know it doesn't have to be exact at least for this tutorial um, you guys may want it to be exactly on there so okay I'm looking good right there what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up that as well so here's my mask and we're going to hit that keyframe on the mask path and also we're going to mask expansion it um, go to the mask feather and feather it out a ton you know maybe 40 pixels or 30 or 50 um, whatever looks good to you and you could turn up the opacity to double check it and yeah I like 50 so I'm gonna go back down to 50 so I can see what I'm working with here and um, we're going to keyframe all these parameters all the way through now um, for the mask path, we don't want to mess with that as much. We really want to do the scale and position, okay? So what I'm going to do is hit that scale, hit that position, because we're locking it into place right here for the keyframe. And now I'm going to drop it down a few frames and uh, scale it down, okay? And also move it into position, okay, so pretty close there. Maybe a little bit more. And we're looking good. And you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here, right? So it's just a matter of uh, keyframing this into place to always make sure that's always fitting on those glasses, right? And then just check it all the way through. Okay, so it fits right there. That looks good. To here and so now what we're doing okay so the mask is as big as it will get because now what we're going to do is start to hit that mask expansion 
and expand it into place. So we already hit the keyframe right there. Now what we can do is start to expand and watch the, I can actually turn up the opacity a little bit more. Watch as it expands into place over here. So I'm going to drop it out here a little bit. Actually, I'm going to um, set another keyframe for that mask path right here and then expand that as well. Okay, so now I'm just kind of guessing where the lens is since it is um, where the frame is since it's really off screen right now. And we'll be able to check that in a second. I'll show you how to do that. So just kind of match everything in place. There it is. And right about there. I'm going to change the color of this mask since it's kind of hard to see. Make it there we go. And see what that looks like. So I can check it by pressing page down and the page up button which is really going frame by frame and over here I'm kind of overlapping a little bit too much so I'll go back to here and just drag this out a little bit and see what we're up oh, still I'll just drag this guy down here and see about that. Yeah, that looks a little better, maybe to the right. All right, cool, that's good enough for me, but you guys get the point. Um, this is where you're gonna do all of your finessing. Okay, and then at about, at the end is when the mask will fill it, fill the frame. Okay, so let's see this in action. And you guys can kind of see how I am finessing this to try to get it exact as possible. You know, obviously we're going to have some mess ups right over there. And just play around with your mask until you get it to a place where you like it. Okay, and I'll just play around with it for... Actually, I'm good with this. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll try to get this one done. Um, okay, cool. So now we've got our mask in there. Now let's add a couple of effects to this um, to add some oomph to it, right? So she is wearing pink sunglasses so we want to add a little pink tint to it so you can add the tint effect or you can add a tritone effect so let's add that onto here and then um, let's try and create a nice little pink tritone so we got our midtones right here the shadow I'm gonna go with a darker pink there and then um, white's fine okay so on this one what we're going to do is it's going to fade into this pink so Hit that keyframe on the blend and then drag this up to 100%. And then as we kind of zoom out, it will start to get pink. So that will be our nice little transition. So I'm going to hit U so I can see that. And that is, where is it? Blend with original right here, the tritone. Um, so here are my keyframes for that. Um, that looks good, cool. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add, it's not going to be a flash, but it's going to add some, a little brightness to it. So add a brightness and contrast to our clip, okay, to our Hollywood. And because this scene is a lot brighter, we want to add that brightness to this uh, lens, right? So let's uh, drag it to the beginning of our transition and keyframe that brightness at zero and then right about halfway through turn that brightness up 
Yeah, so that looks good. Okay, cool. And now what we need to do is add a add a fade out. So at about I would say maybe uh, what ten frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go twelve frames. Um, hit that Shift T to open up your opacity and um, set a keyframe at a hundred percent, and then bring it to the very end, which is right here, and drop that opacity down to one hundred. I mean zero, zero percent. So that way it fades out, right? Boom, like that. Okay, now that's looking a little better. Now, what we want to do is, let's add a bulge, okay? So, um, with your Hollywood selected, type in bulge into your effects and presets and add that into here. And let's see what we can do on this one. So on your vertical radius and horizontal radius, just make sure that this circle um, fits the whole frame, okay? So, make sure the edges get all the way around that square. Okay, so right about right there. And then on the bulge, I'm just gonna put it down to zero for now. And what we'll do is, keyframe that bulge effect. So hit the uh, bulge height, keyframe that at zero at the start of your transition. And then right as the glasses get into full effect, maybe at around there, um, hit that bulge at maybe like 0.5. Not too much, but just, an, uh, just enough. One. And uh, let's see. Yeah, that, that'll look better. Okay, cool. And then so we're going to bulge it up. And don't worry that it doesn't fit into the glasses. Um, we're going to fix that in a second. So it bulges up and then bulge it back down to zero. It's going to have a little like, I don't know why it's at one. Oh, did I put out one? Yeah. Okay. I'll go with one then. Um, so boom like that and that's cool so now we just got to refit that mask back in um, obviously it fits right there but right here we're going to mess with it a little more so I'm just gonna close my effects right now so I can see these keyframes and hit that mask expansion and actually go into the negatives then we're gonna have to bring it back to zero in a second. So let's uh, bring this down to negative 143 so that it fits the glasses. Um, may have to do that here as well. So I'm just gonna copy this one, Command C, Command V it right here. Um, actually, no, we will need to expand it just a bit. Okay, right there. And then let's double check the rest of our clip. Okay, so you can see how this effect is all about. It's really finessing stuff and making sure things are where they're supposed to be. Okay. And that looks good there. So what we have is our bulge. And it goes down. Nice. I like that. Let's see. All right, cool. And then the last thing to do on this effect is to start to blur things out so it looks like we're getting a nice little zoom in here. And um, so what we're going to do is close these clips down and hit this motion blur section right here on both clips and then hit it for the composition as well by selecting that. That'll enable these uh, motion blurs. So then that way when we're doing the zoom, okay, you'll get that um, lens zoom effect on both the uh, video, the Hollywood sign and the glasses and uh, the girl glasses. So this is really cool. This really adds a lot to the effect. Let's preview it and check it out. All right, cool guys. So this is the 
effect. This is what we just did in, what was it, 19 minutes or so. Um, yeah, and you guys can really play with it, you know, speed it up if you want, slow it down if you like. Um, it's really a creative choice up to you. And, um, you know, kind of mess with that bulge effect as well. Even a, you can try out the optics compensation effect. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, definitely check out the other transition tutorials that we've created in the past on videofort.com and you guys will know exactly what's happening and hopefully this effect helps you become an epic visual effects artist all right guys i hope that tutorial helped you out and if it did please leave us a like and let us know in the comment section if there's any type of visual effects you guys would like to know more about uh filmmaking filmmaking tricks uh tips anything like that let us know in the comments. I'll try and address those as soon as possible. With that being said, this is Video Fort. I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.